We can't officially sanction this. If you want to back out now, you can. And if we're caught, we're on our own. Regiment will deny you've ever been badged. If it goes to court, you face the risk of a custodial sentence. I'm up for it. <laughs> I'm game. What do you think, Anna? We've all got careers. Some of us have got families. And you're asking us to lay that on the line for some towelheads engaged in somebody else's war? No. Our concern is that these people are using London as a base. Our problem is that we don't know whether Spellman is abusing his position or if his activities are part of some wider conspiracy. We have to assess the risks. If the odds are against it, then all bets are off. That is right. We can't rush into this blind. You seem a bit unhappy, Ian. If you want to know the truth, I am. Are you standing down? If I have a choice. Very well. You'll need an expert, a safe cracker. You're late. Ah, that's a walk from the station. Can I get you a drink? Glass of red. Okay. Is it me or the book? You said you wanted to talk about Pete. Yeah, I did. Or was there something else? There's supposed to be a chain of command for this sort of thing, but... I can trust you, can't I? Of course you can. Unless you'd rather talk to the family liaison officer. No, I don't want this getting back to Pete. I couldn't talk to Heno. He has problems of his own. I'm sorry, Ian. Mm -hmm. This was a bad idea. What is it? I hate him. I hadn't realized it was so bad. We haven't slept together for months. What about counseling? For me or for Pete? Well, Pete, naturally. <laughs> Perhaps if I made a recommendation. You think he'd listen to you? He'd have to listen to the CO. Oh, no, you see. I knew I shouldn't have done this. You are implicated now, you know. He tried to murder you in his sleep. That wasn't his fault. Why are you telling me these things if you don't want me to do something about it? Because I just needed someone to listen. Get out. I'm sorry. Please! Cam? You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, I did. Sit down. Am I in trouble, sir? Yes, you are. I consider it bad form that you step down from your responsibilities, Ian. You gave me a choice, sir. And you chose your career above the welfare of your men. How do you think they'd view that? In a dim light, I guess. Your guess would be right. It's a black bag If or... you want to succeed in this regiment, forget what you learnt in all the others. The men are first and foremost. We all rely on each other. Sir. Now, I believe you volunteered for a job. Have I? We have the list. That's good news, sir. Carry on. They've got the list. That's all I need. What part of I don't give a shit do you not understand? I can't do it. And our blushes. What about Spellman? Didn't you hear? The Palestinians got him. And Magnus. Good. Well, that gives. And negotiations. 
Sorry, sir. Go ahead. No. Please. And negotiations haven't thrown up any demands or objectives. Negotiations are indefinitely stalemated. He just runs. He doesn't seem to want anything. Our stated position is we'll give them as long as it takes for a peaceful resolution. And what's your real position? I would like it sorted ASAP. The children are at risk, not least from the sanitary conditions. The siege is affecting air traffic. It's bad PR. Minority groups are saying we're treating them with kid gloves because they're Christians. I prefer your first position. Starve them out or let them blow themselves up if that's what they want. Sergeant, let's not be so crude about it. I'm these. being practical, sir. He's trying to recreate Waco. I don't think we should help him. What do you think? Of the brief you? is to examine and prepare a range of options, up to and including armed assault. Which we will. And why are there no armed vehicles here? Even if it's just to retrieve dead bodies, seeing as they're shooting anything that moves. It looks very bad, armor against civilians. It may look bad, sir, but it sure as hell feels a lot better when you're the one being shot at. Sergeant Garvey! That was outrageous. Yes, I know, but you'll improve as you go along. What? You heard. Your insubordination is unsupportable. That was a discussion. That's how we operate. You behaved appallingly. You are very keen all of a sudden for a fight, like you have something to prove. Just take a breath and think. I haven't finished. Never use force unless you are certain you will win. The man's attitude is intolerable. The man's attitude is a large part of the man. And the man is the best soldier in the best regiment in the best army in the world. You'd be better advised trying to learn from him rather than dominate him, Ian. They are mixed out as you gas yourself. Yeah. Boss. Morning. Boss. Morning. And a kangle wouldn't be that funny either. No. It's a controlled explosion. With the emphasis on control, otherwise you'll bring down the rest of the culvert. Yeah, and attract the attention of the Jesus man. I'll deal with that. Cheers. Caroline, bung me the keys. I need some plastic and detonators. Find me the biggest skip lorry you can lay your hands on and get it here ASAP. <laughs> Sir, I found a culvert. It runs from here down to here. Mm -hmm. We're getting Pete to clear a concrete collar inside. Once that's gone, we should be clear all the way to the courtyard. It would not be better to do it at night. No, essential that we do it by day. Well, excuse me. Oh, it's a boy. <laughs> well, it's clear. All right, we stood down until 0500. We'll take another look then. Okay, there's a hotel in town for anyone who wants a bath. Mobile phones and bleepers on at all times. It's a 30 minute standby, which means just that. Stood to it at 500. Hello. What are you doing here? There are people from the regiment staying here. Jamie, what are you doing here? I knew you'd be here. I had to see you. <sighs> I can't believe you drove down. Didn't take long. Are you all right? <laughs> no, not really. Oh. You kissed me in Hereford. Yes. Like you meant it. Well, I did. Do you want me? What about Pete? Oh, forget Pete. He's no angel. Yeah, quite shy. I wasn't expecting that. Oh. Come on, it's fine. No one's giving marks out of ten. You told them not to give covering fire? Yes. That man could have told us who was in there, 
where they were, what weapons they were yes, using. Yes, sir. How do you think people are going to view this? I don't really care. We were in no position to respond or to control the situation had it gone off. It was still a police investigation that was Sir, there. we have work to do. And where's Ricky? Isn't he back? I sent him to the late night garage to get Vaseline for detonators. Hello, Ian. There's been a possible development. Look, you were right about dispositions with inside the stronghold. Maybe now we can get them. What do you mean? We put someone through the culvert and try and get her out. What if she puts up a fight? What if she screams? We just have to make sure she doesn't. These pairs of teams called Earth, Air and Water. Which suggests that Klisman is fire. She confirmed the stronghold is more or less one giant bomb. Petrol cans in every corner. It seems the other three are sleeper cells, just waiting for him to give his word. Which he seems likely to do when he finds out the girl is gone. We're getting to the point where an immediate attack is inevitable. There are still good reasons for not going in. Eight of the kids are under the age of 16. Catch him alive and expose him for abusing minors, amongst other things. Right. We will prepare a direct plan of action. Then we can assess what's possible and make a decision. Light by seven, last chance for a go would be 0600. It's now 0240. DPA by 0340. Right, bombs here, here, and possibly here. Wires are there and there, on the outside of the building in the courtyard. Now, will it be okay just to cut them? Well, he won't have them in a live socket, so he can just cut away. I'll call bomb disposal and get some of the ECM boys down here. Good. Right, our five smallest through the culvert. Jamie, you're on wire cutting duty. Have that. No, me. But why waste one of the team on wires? Prue knows what she's doing on comms. Put me in. I don't have a problem with that. All right. Bring prep to speed with the call signs. Four zero Bravo. X-ray down in one two. Romeo two zero Bravo. X-ray secured in two Alpha. We need X-ray one alive. On three, I move right. You take out his hands. On three, one, two. thinking a lot about you. Yes. So have I. I mean, about what... Listen, it was my fault. I'm... Oh, don't say that. You make it sound as if it was wrong. It was. Horribly. If Pete ever found out... Laura, you and Pete, I want you to leave him. I'll leave the army, the regiment. We can make a life together. What? I love you. Oh, no. No. I mean, no. I would promise to make you happy. Ian, no. I've never felt this way about anyone. No. Look, my tour finishes in summer. I just won't renew it. I'll be out. We can move away. You'll get the kids. No. You've got the wrong idea. I don't really care what you say. It will happen. Hey, 
gonna deal with kidnappers. But this is private. Nobody knew she's coming here on this mission. So we make these demands, expecting you to comply. If you don't, parts of her will be coming to London by... The demands include large amounts of cash and the release of prisoners. What about the boss? Colonel Dempsey was in her room when she was taken. Nice one. Deserves a pint and a good pat on the back. Ricky, shh, please. Sean Smith from Blue Troop was bodyguarding. He's been shot, but he was wearing his body armor. He's being looked after on a Royal Naval destroyer, so he should pull through. The two other guards were killed. It would also seem that Dempsey's been taken. As yet, we don't know whether he's alive or dead. When do we go? Immediately. The Foreign Office have put in a formal request to be allowed to send people in. Their government have so far refused. We'll be going in anyway. We'll be going in as an infilling team. If we do get in there, how are we going to find them? The Navy picked up a bearing from the sat phone transmission that sent the film. Everyone's breaking balls to get another bearing, and then we can get a fix. The plan so far is we need to get weapons and kit in, so, Jamie, you and I will be resurrecting the Swedish film crew. It makes sense. The passport and papers, they're all here and ready to go. We'll take a Land Rover across in the morning. You all have one hour to prepare and sort out kit for us to load. We have a C-130 warming up and needs to be in the air in two hours. There's a maximum of 60 pounds per man, including weapons and ammunition. One wouldn't do any harm. I don't know. Okay. I respect that. Cheers. Morning. Enjoying your flight? Absolutely, Captain. Marvelous, thanks. Jolly good. Alexander Levich, просьба подойти до места. Business or pleasure, Mr. Senior? Oh, it's pleasure an option here. Business. Any narrowing down of the location. Okay, try again. We'll wait for news from you. Goodbye. Nothing else from the Navy. What about MI6? No. Got some of Dempsey's kit, the embassy retrieved from the hotel. Yeah, anything there? Yeah, it's his notebook. It's got this scrawl at the bottom. So what about it? Well, demo's not a scrawler. Could be a message. It's dropped on the floor of the room where they got nabbed. Looks like ARM or ARNM. Oh. And what would that mean? Look at this. It's a vapor trail. And this tape is time coded at 1304 on Tuesday. There can't have been that many jets in the sky at that time. Get onto six, see if you can get a bearing and where it was headed. This could be our second fix. Nice one. Hello, Richard. <laughs> We've got a fix. Plus or minus 5K. Good. It's a drive and then a 50K tab through the forests. Captain Walsh is coming with us to handle comms. What? Can I walk all of you? Very good. <laughs> what? Nothing. Crew's moving to the embassy to run comms from there. so far. We do another 15 clicks tonight. Rest up for the day. That just leaves us time to the mines tomorrow night. I am right, aren't I? You're shagging Pete's missus.
just had to be sure. Look, I don't think this Obviously is... not. You've crossed the line. It's none of your business. You just focus your mind to the job in hand. Yes, sir. What the hell's going on? We're being followed. He's been keeping them informed. The kidnap was a set-up by the government to discredit the rebels. He's been running the entire show. DFI, then. He's working on us doing another ten clicks in lying up here by the river. He's told them to ambush us there at dawn. Two arrows. Men from the mine. Then the from both sides. You can make this work for us. How? Ricky, try and copy his writing. Do us another note. Tell him that one of our men are injured and that we're laying up here for the night. That sounds nice. Tell him to hit us here at dawn, 0600. That means that the contingent from the mine will have to get a major tab on to join them. How is this working for us? We slip out between them. Hit the weakened defenses at the mine at the same time they hit us here, only we'll be 25k away. When they hit our very empty, but heavily booby-trapped LUP. It's a beautiful thing, Louis. Yeah, we've already done 30k. You think we can do another 25 before doing it? 30, sir. We're here. Group following us. A contingent from the mine. We do 5k northwest, then 25k tab southwest. That's a 30k tab, a firefight, exfiltration, then a ship, a shave, and a shower, a few beers, and a curry. Thought it might appeal. Cleared the place. Man down, man down. Who's that? Uh, he's our officer. Very cool under fire. Cheers, young man. He was just beginning to shape up. <laughs> <laughs> 